Hi, this is a quick visual overview of chapter 4. I'm going to highlight some key ideas to keep in mind as you read the materials. First, understand the difference between the more general concept of socialization and the culture-specific concept and culturation. A key learning outcome of this chapter should be a good understanding on how humans are born with brains that are more universal, but that culture influences how culture-specific our brains become wired. Enculturation can be understood when we analyze four different areas of child development, temperament, attachment, parenting styles, and cognitive development. Temperament refers to the more biological basis of a child's personality, including genetic tendencies. Children may or may not match the specific caretaker's style of parental care, and this is called goodness of fit. Children can be classified into a primary area of temperament called easy or slow to warm up or difficult. Notice that the percentages don't add up to 100% because the same child may display characteristics of one or more of these categories. But temperament is really key to understand later developmental outcomes. The work of John Bowlby and Mary Ainsworth really help us understand the importance of the quality of emotional bond between the child and the caregiver. That's called attachment. The emotional bond could become into a secure attachment style versus an insecure attachment style with insecure attachment having two subtypes. Please become familiar with all of the characteristics of secure attachment and insecure attachment. Criticism of attachment theory includes the idea that it may be based on a westernized ideal of caretaking. To understand parenting styles, it's important to look at two uh, variables. How responsive a, a parent may be to the child's needs versus how unresponsive the parent may be to the child's needs and degree of expectations that parents may have. We consider authoritative parenting to be the ideal type of parenting because this parent has high expectations but provides a lot of support, with neglectful parenting being the more problematic. The key question that Jean Piaget asked about development is how children think differently as they grow older. And the way children think can be understood with how they organize the world into mental representations called schemas. And those rep representations are going to be expanded or changed. Assimilation is when you continue to use the same schema for new events and accommodation is when you dramatically change the schema or create a brand new one. Piaget developed four stages of cognitive development called sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, and formal operational. Notice that three of these stages have the word operations in them. Operations, according to Piaget, is equivalent to logic. So what he's saying is that children in the sensory motor and pre-operational stage have not yet acquired a reliable use of logic, and they may be irrational. Children in the concrete operational stage begin to be rational, but only if you allow concrete representations. And then as they advance into the formal operational stages, then they can be both logical and reason in the abstract. As with attachment theory, a major criticism is that Piaget argued about universal um, stages of cognitive development that may also be based on a Western paradigm of cognitive development. Finally, please read carefully Bronfer Brenner's Psychological Systems Theory and understand the different levels of development and influence on development from the 
microsystem factors that play a role early on in a child's development all the way to macro system level influences on development because this can help you understand enculturation at a much deeper level and understand processes such as um, the impact of the education system, uh, the role of siblings and extended uh, family members, the role of peers, the role of various communities.